Welcome to this episode of Science Friday. Just kidding, not Science Friday, but I'm gonna show you a little science experiment that I did. So when I first bought Norwex, the first and only two items I bought was an Enviro cloth and a window cloth. Mainly because I was already in love with the products and I knew that I wanted to get a bunch of them. But the one that I was really skeptical about was our laundry detergent. The reason, dinner is done. The reason I was really skeptical is I felt like it was expensive and I didn't know why I needed to have this $22 bag of laundry detergent. I wanna show you why. Hey, Matt, will you hand me the bag of laundry detergent? Pause for my hubby to hand me the product. Sorry, real life happens and I'm not prepared. So this is what our laundry detergent looks like. It just comes in this small little bag. Um, and that's why I was like $22 for that bag. That's insane. Let me show you why it's amazing and the best thing that you ever need. So I'm trying to think about what part to start with. First, let's go with how much do you need? So this bag is like, I think it comes in like a two pound or a one pound bag. This one's 1.1 pounds. Anyways, for normal laundry detergent, what I used before was this much. This was one load. This is how much Norwex detergent you need. So almost like one fifth to a quarter less detergent. So think about like my old laundry detergent was probably 13 to $15. And how many loads did it do me at this size compared to this? And really, 13 to 15 isn't that much less than 22, to be really honest with you. Um, so this is gonna last you a lot longer. Now, I said this is the size that Norwex suggests that you use. Many Norwex consultants, myself included, I'm not going, this is our scoop. I'm not gonna recommend that you use this scoop. I'm gonna recommend that you use something more along the lines of this. This one is um, a quarter of a teaspoon. Most people, so I have a magnetic ball in my dryer, so I actually need to use like, um, a quarter teaspoon. Most people are going to use anywhere from one teaspoon to a half a teaspoon, which is a lot less than they suggest, which means this bag is going to last you a really, really long time. So you need to use less. That's huge. Obviously, you can tell from right here, there's not a lot of fillers. This one's full of color. It's full of fragrance, all sorts of things that are going to break down your clothes and your laundry a lot faster than you need to. So here's where Science Friday comes into play. I wanted to do an experiment that showed how well our detergent worked. So I have three jars for you. In these two jars, I put how much um, how much detergent I would put in about this much water. And I used an equivalent amount of the old detergent in this jar. So this one is just the Norwex laundry detergent and water. It is crystal clear. There is nothing in there. This one, however, is just water and laundry detergent. I don't know what is in there. This was a clean jar. This is all the fillers and nastiness that's going all over your clothes and coating all your fibers. Had I seen this, I never, ever, ever would have used my own laundry detergent. It may have smelled like rainflower fields or something fabulous. However, that's disgusting. Literally both of these are just laundry detergent and water and nothing else. And the fact that this has some massive residual cloud thing in it is insane to me. So let's get that out of the way, scratch that. Now we'll go back to the Norwex because you're probably like, well, why is one so cloudy, Heather? So it's the time of COVID, we're all wearing masks. So I thought, I'll try to clean my mask. So I put the same amount of laundry detergent in both of these and I shoved my mask in here. So I wear bronzer, it's like this reddish, brownish hue. Look at, this is everything it got out. And then if you see the bottom, that is all of the sediment that our laundry detergent got out. Norwex laundry detergent is amazing. And here's the thing, it's not just for your laundry. You can actually dilute it and use it as an all-purpose cleaner. I have put some in my bathtub with my oven racks and it cleaned my oven racks like crazy. Not only did it clean that, then when I rinsed it all out, my bathtub has never been cleaner. It's spectacular. So I love our laundry detergent. You will love our laundry detergent. If you want a sample of our laundry detergent, let me know, I'm happy to send you one. And what else? Oh, scent. Okay, so yes, this one smelled like rainflower fields or something. It was something that I really enjoyed. Now when I open this and smell it, it's so strong, I don't like it. So marketing is powerful and we are taught that clean has to smell like something, like lavender, mango, hibiscus, whatever it is. Clean smells like this. It doesn't smell like anything at all. But sometimes it is nice to have clothes that smell really good. So what I do is I use the Norwex dryer balls and you can use any wool dryer ball that you want. Add a little bit of essential oil to it. I like to put lavender on mine and pop it in the dryer with your laundry. And there you go. Then you have like nice, lightly fragranced clothes that smell really good and are clean without this 
cloud of debris all over them. So if you have any questions about our laundry detergent, please don't hesitate to let me know. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.